Hi everybody, today we get to take a break from graphing in economics and just talk about the four different types of competition that exist in economics. For example, why as well, she is this. All right, so in economics, there are four different types of competition that exist. Uh, the first one is perfect competition. Now, some economists argue that this is only a theory and doesn't truly exist in the real world, but I'll give you an example, okay? For, let's say there are two stands next to each other that are both selling apples, all right? They are they come from different farms, but they're next to each other. One uh, sells their apples for a dollar, and one sells their apples for 50 cents, okay? Now, Economic theory would state that in this situation, everyone would buy the 50 cent apples, right? Assuming they're the same, of course, because at the end of the day, they're just apples that were picked off a tree. Um, and why would you pay more when you could pay less? Another example of this would be if you're at the store and you're buying lettuce, right? Like uh, generally you buy the lettuce uh, based on price and it's generally about the same thing or water bottles, whether it's Poland Spring or Dasani water or Aquafina, you know, whichever one's the lowest price, that's the one you're going to grab for because, you know, it's basically the same product, just with a different brand logo on it, okay? Now, however, as we know, uh, Dasani, Aquafina, and Poland Spring are actually slightly different. You know, some people do have preferences. Some people like to buy the organic apples instead of the regular apples. And so, yes, that's a difference technically. Even the same thing goes with lettuce, which I also used as an example there. So, no, it's not perfect competition, but that's as close as you're going to get. And the idea is that if anyone raises their prices, they will immediately lose their customers in perfect competition because why? Well, because people are always going to go for the lower priced item when it's the exact same thing being sold, right? So why not go for the lower price? The next type of competition is monopolistic competition. All right, this occurs in many uh, different areas in the United States. It's the most common type of competition you see on a daily basis. The restaurant industry is an example, coffee industry, the clothing industry. These are all examples of monopolistic competition because the barriers of entry are pretty low, right? You could start your own restaurant if you want. You could open your own deli. You could open your own coffee shop. And then boom, you're in the mix. You're competing with everyone else. And how do you get customers? Well, it's not just with price and, and monopolistic competition. It's also with quality. Sometimes you want a hamburger and you're willing to pay a little bit more for it. Other times you're only willing to pay for a bagel, right? Um, but there are other things that go into your decision making other than price. And there are usually a lot of different companies to choose from, all of which can enter and create their own product that's different from the others, not the same like perfect competition. And then they try to win over consumers. The next type of competition is oligopoly. And here's what that basically means. Uh, the airline industry is a good example when there are a few major players in the industry that kind of control the entire game, right? I can open a restaurant or a deli and so could you one day. Uh, you could open a small business that sells t-shirts. You could op open a coffee stand. What you probably couldn't open is your own airline, right? Like you're not gonna compete with Delta Airlines tomorrow uh, because it's almost impossible to create your own. First of all, it would cost millions and millions of dollars just to get started and actually buy your own airplanes, get the rights to fly, et cetera. So oligopolies have very high barriers to entry, right? Barriers to entry here means how difficult is it for new companies to enter the field, right? And when you talk about restaurants, it's pretty easy. That would be monopolistic competition. Oligopolies is when it's very difficult. And so a few major players control the whole industry. Another example would be oil, right? Uh, if you're talking about Exxon Mobil and Royal Dutch Shell and a couple other big companies, that basically those are the places you can buy gas and nowhere else. Could I start my own gas company? No. Right, like I don't have the capability to drill oil out of the ground, refine it into gasoline, and then sell it at a gas pump. It's too difficult. The barriers are too high. So in this case, in an oligopoly, there are a few major players. They control what's going on. They also control the prices, and they have much more say than the consumer does on what they're going to pay for it. The last type of competition, if it's even competition at all, is called a monopoly, right? A monopoly, we've all probably heard of it before. It means there's one company in the industry that controls everything that happens, right? Um, there aren't too many examples these days simply because um, it's not allowed in the United States. Um, if you have a monopoly in the U.S., 
the Department of Justice is going to uh, intervene usually. In fact, even if you want to buy another company, you have to basically ask for approval from the Department of Justice to make sure you're not becoming a monopoly. Uh, Coca-Cola would never be able to merge with Pepsi. Uh, those two have to stay separate, otherwise it would be a monopoly. Um, I would say, uh, theoretically, an example could be your local uh, electric company in New York, Con Edison. You know, um, generally speaking, like you pay your Con Ed bill every month and there's no choice there. So really it's sort of a, a monopoly in a sense there. Um, but those are the four different types of competition. And next week in my next video, we'll learn how to start graphing these in a supply in supply and demand to see how prices change based on the type of competition it is. Uh, but this is the baseline of what we need to know and what you probably already see on a daily basis. Thanks.